Surfing is drastically growing in popularity, with an estimated 35 million active wave riders globally. Surfing is physically demanding, countless time spent paddling. It all takes a toll on your body, specifically your shoulders and arms. Many mornings waking up extremely stiff and sore after a good paddle session. There is one brand blowing up onto the surf nutrition scene, outclassing all other post-activity recovery liquids. This is why I introduced Froth, a CBD infused vitamin pill designed to assist with post-surf recovery, helping you get back out in the water without any discomfort. 100% eco-friendly seaweed-based packaging will be used and uses natural tones and will aesthetically relate to the coastal environment. The rear of the packaging will display a QR code to the Surface Against Sewage website, helping raise awareness on the plastic pollution crisis. It is aimed at 18 to 45 year old intermediate to advanced surfers who are health conscious and want improved endurance and performance. They have a love for the natural world and will go to great lengths to preserve it. Dissolvable tablets have been chosen because surfers spend a lot of time traveling, can be stored easily compared to cumbersome cans and time consuming mixing powders. Printouts will appear in the two biggest surfing magazines in the country. Carve and Wavelength, as they are read by the exact consumers we would like for the product. This is a mock-up of our Gorilla Advertising, a branded froth bin that will be put across 200 of the UK's busiest beaches. Hopefully people will pick up litter, helping the environment, and will see the promotion. A QR code will be present, allowing for users to scan, to sign petitions, and discover more about the ocean's present problems. The surface are considered edgy, an active appealing Instagram profile would have great benefits to the launch campaign. Here are some mock-ups of story posts. A Spotify-based promotional podcast will also be used, as surfers spend a lot of time travelling to and from destinations. The content of the podcast would vary from surf conversation to content on plastic pollution.